In the previous video, we saw how the React router was not behaving properly. Or was it? Well, we don't know now. But I'll tell you soon. I'll tell you that this is not a bug, but this is a feature. Basically, we saw that no matter which route we went on to, we were seeing this home page, even if the route was not defined. So this A, B, O, U, R is not defined. Still, we are seeing the home page instead of a 404. And let's say if we go to about page, then we were seeing I am the home page and I am the about page, both of them. So let's see why was that happening. So in this video, we are going to do two things. First, we are going to import the font that we are going to use, which is Poppins. And then we are also going to fix this quick bug. Perfect. So first, let's import the font. So I want you to go to fonts.google.com and search for Poppins or directly go to this particular URL, which is fonts.google.com slash specimen slash Poppins. So if you go to this website, here, this is the Poppins font. This is something very, very cool. I love this font and that's why I've used it in my portfolio website. So this is Poppins font. So let's select all the fonts, font families that we want to use. So probably you could select all of them, but it's not recommended to select all of them because we are, of course, not going to use all of them in our app, right? So why unnecessarily load all the fonts? So I believe we are going to use the thin font. We are also going to use, we are not going to use italics anywhere. We are going to use this extra light. We are going to use this light. We are going to use the regular one. We are also going to use the medium one. We are also going to use the bold one. And I don't think we are going to use anything else apart from this, but still no harm in just having this selected as of now. So yes, let's quickly copy and paste this link. So you are going to see this link option right here. So let's copy and paste this link. Let's copy it and let's go to our HTML inside our public directory. So we are inside our index.html here. First of all, I'm going to change the title of the web page to um, maybe Madhav Behel or maybe my portfolio. And yeah, that seems fine. And let's include the font families. Perfect, this looks very cool so now it should be done and very quickly let's also import the font family poppins so if you see here font family poppins sans serif let's copy and paste this let's copy this and paste it inside our app.css file inside the body so it will apply this font family to the body and now let's fit see whether it's working or not and it is working i am the home page it is working perfectly perfectly fine so that was first part of it done very quickly. We imported the font family and now coming back to the second section. So basically what is happening here is no matter what route we go into, we are seeing this home page. Let's have a look on why is this happening. So basically we can fix this using exact keyword. Let's have a look at why and when do we need this exact exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically basically let me tell you some internal working of how react router matches the url so basically react router the purpose of react router you already know is to match the url route in the browser with the routes that we are going to define so this is the route in the browser slash about and it's going to match this with the route that we have defined slash about so it does not do an exact match. It does not do an equal to match, but rather the match is more like a contains check. So basically what it does is it takes in this particular uh, URL and now one by one it's going to see whether this path is contained in the URL location. Now, yes, slash is contained. So first it's going to render the home page. And as we saw, this is the home page. Then it's going to check the next one about. Yes, it contains the about as well. So it's going to render the about page as well. After that, it's going to check projects. No projects is not there. So it's not going to render projects or skills or contact for that matter. So that's how we, that's why we, we were seeing this unusual bug. But how can we fix this? We can fix this using exact. We can fix this using so let's take one more example first before this so basically it's going to match this slash with both slash and slash about 
Another example could be projects will be matched with both projects and projects slash 25 or 31 or any any idea of that sort. So yes, that is how it works. Now to prevent this, we are going to use exact. So just in the first route, we are going to say exact. And this should fix this whole thing. This should fix our problem because in the other, we don't have any other route in which we want to do an exact comparison. But if you want just to be safe, you can put this exact in all of these, but it, trust me, it's not going to cause you any problem because it's not going to match with any other thing, right? But if you want, you can keep the exact or you remove the exact from others. But in the home page, you would need to keep the exact because it's going to match the slash route with every other route as well. So perfect. That's completely perfect. And that's how it is fixed. Now using the exact keyword, this was fixed. And that's it. That's, uh, that's how we fixed this uh, sort of bug, which was actually a feature. And that was it.